Hi, I'm Bob and Osterhout. I want to talk to you about healthy self-esteem. Uh, sometimes self-esteem uh, uh, can be misunderstood. People think in terms of positive self-esteem, but that's not necessarily a good thing. Uh, uh, what I like to think of is realistic self-esteem. Uh, someone did some uh, research uh, across all different kinds of groups of people to find out which groups had the highest levels of self-esteem uh, based on where they were and what they were doing. And there was a really in very interesting and unexpected result to that research was the two highest groups uh, were gang members and prisoners. Okay, uh, These are people who had an inflated image of themselves uh, that was not realistic and uh, they really did not have satisfying lives and created a lot of misery in the world. Uh, so it isn't a, so much about positive self-esteem as it is uh, healthy self-esteem which is realistic self-esteem. When we realistically see ourselves we will recognize both our gifts and our limitations. And the key is to accept the limitations and to develop the gifts. So building healthy self-esteem is simply a matter of seeing oneself clearly. When we see ourselves clearly, uh, we recognize that what our gifts are. And sometimes that takes some time uh, and takes some exploration. Uh, find out what we enjoy, what we connect with, what comes out naturally. Uh, everyone has gifts. Uh, I, I've worked with people uh, who have no measurable intelligence and have seen gifts in them and how they relate, relate to others and, and have seen uh, actually in some cases very profound effects that they've had on other people in a positive way. Uh, everyone has something to contribute uh, to, to the rest of us on this planet. And, and the key is to find that. And then to recognize and accept the limitations. Not to dwell on them and see them as a negative, but to see them as an opportunity uh, for improvement. And there's another piece of research that's very interesting um, related to this. Uh, someone did research on the people who were the best at their field. Michael Jordan was one of them, okay? Uh, the best scientists, the best musicians, uh, the best uh, scholars, the best researchers, uh, the best writers. Who were the people who were at the top of their field? And what set them aside? What was different about them? And it was interesting, it wasn't a matter of talent. There were far fewer, far more people uh, who hadn't reached the same level who were as talented or in many cases more talented than those who, were, who reached the highest levels of success. The one characteristic that went across all of these different people was that they continued to improve in what they did. They continued to practice, they continued to move forward, they accepted their limitations, were open to feedback, and then worked in a process of continuing improvement. A lot of people don't know that Michael Jordan didn't make his high school basketball team, okay? Uh, but he continued to work. Clearly, he had some natural gifts as well, but he developed these by continuing process of improvement. And we develop our gifts by accepting our limitations and then looking for challenges and opportunities where our gifts fit in the situation we are. And, and that's the process of developing healthy self-esteem. Good luck.